uh, Dan Barlow. I'm the public policy manager with Vermont Businesses for Social Responsibility. And uh, we are really uh, pleased to be here today to announce the uh, launch of the ninth annual Buy Local Coupon Book and the Coupon App as well. Uh, I have today with me uh, Treasurer Beth Pierce, uh, along with uh, Kip and Jen Roberts, who are the uh, owners of uh, Onion River Outdoors here. Uh, also um, have Bobby Rome, the owner of Rome, uh, nearby on Langdon Street. And I want to mention uh, Melissa Cosmo, sorry, Melissa, Melissa Kosmacheski, uh, who is the local first manager at VBSR. Um, so we all know how important uh, locally owned businesses are to downtowns. They are the economic hearts of our communities. Uh, they provide local goods and services, create good paying jobs uh, for, for local residents, and they make our downtowns and communities safe, thriving, and positive places. And right now we are standing in a uh, Vermont success story. Uh, when a community rallies around a business like they did here at Onion River Outdoors, they are making a commitment to their, econ to their economy. Communities gather and thrive around locally, locally owned businesses and VBSR and Local First Vermont uh, are bringing awareness to the importance uh, of spending dollars locally. You know, for every dollar spent at a locally owned business, 45 cents is reinvested in the local economy. Uh, if you shop at a, uh, a big retailer, uh, one of the big box stores, uh, only 15 cents out of every dollar stays in the local community. Uh, additionally, if you're buying online, there's really minimal, if any, uh, local uh, money that would remain in the community there. Um, so that's why shopping local is so important and why um, products like the local first coupon book are so important. Uh, I'd like to now introduce uh, Treasurer Beth Pierce, who will talk about some of the work Vermont is doing um, to invest in our local economies. Well, thank you very much. Uh, first, I want to say it's a wonderful store. Thank you very much. It's, uh, I, ha I did buy my snowshoes here a few years back, so I haven't used them enough, but, uh, but that's another story. Uh, look, buy local is a win-win-win. You know, it creates jobs, it reinvests in the community, and when you look at the stores in, in Vermont and the types of crafts that we have, it's high quality craftsmanship, and it's a win-win-win, and I'm just uh, uh, very thankful that uh, uh, for BBSR for, for promoting the, uh, the buy local. It's so important to, to our economy and to our individuals and our way of life in terms of the craftsmanship, the, the types of uh, uh, innovative uh, small businesses that we have in Vermont. And small businesses are the backbone of Vermont. When you take a look at the number of uh, businesses that are under 50 employees, it is a really um, important part of uh, Vermont's fabric. So I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about how the Treasurer's Office can assist in that. And there are two things that we're working on that I think are very helpful to this. One is that we have a program called 10% in Vermont, which is a program that says if we're going to invest 10% of our dollars, instead of putting them out, out, out of state, you know, in investment houses, we're going to invest those locally here in, in mission-driven um, uh, initiatives. And we had a series of public hearings. This was a dialogue that started back in 2012. It really came together in 2014. And for me, um, it, it, it really is about the, the, the fabric of Vermont and, and, and assisting in that and using our dollars for good in Vermont. We, uh, we invest in different areas. We had a series of public hearings, so housing and energy, um, municipal infrastructure, transportation, and lowering the cost of post-secondary education for students. And we've been successful in most of those areas, housing and energy in particular. Uh, we just released an RFP uh, for $5 million worth of local investment in energy efficiency. So folks should take a look on our website about that. We think that's going to be a very exciting program. And uh, we, 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 we look forward to opportunities. We're down in Rutland. We helped out with a neighborhood revitalization program with Project Vision uh, in the northwest neighborhood of Rutland. This is a statewide program that we, we believe um, is um, um, an essential way to do business to us by local and to, to assist in that. The other program I want to mention um, is the Green Mountain Secure Retirement Plan. Uh, we believe in the, in the Treasurer's Office that every single person in, in, in Vermont should have an opportunity for, for, for a, well, a what lifetime of well-being, financial well-being. And part of that is retirement programs. We have small businesses. We did a study and, and worked with ARP. 104,000 Vermonters, 104,000, do not have access to employer-sponsored retirement plans. Large number of those are with small businesses. So with the assistance of the legislature, and it was a very strong bipartisan, tripartisan effort, 
uh, we've been able to, to work together to develop uh, enabling legislation for us to go forward with the Green Mountain Secure Retirement Program, which will be a retirement plan. Employer, employees can opt in uh, for their employees to, uh, to participate in a voluntary retirement plan for small businesses under, under 50 or, or less employees. We're looking forward to that. We're, looking, we're working right now to get, uh, uh, we're going to have a meeting in Burlington today on, on, on parts of that to try to uh, select some of the vendors that we're moving forward with. And we expect to have that in place in, uh, uh, in, in early January. This is about building Vermont's future, about economic development. I want to say thank you for the businesses and thank you for the, for the work that you do because that is, you employ people, you give them an opportunity to excel in Vermont, you provide, uh, again, economic development and create jobs in Vermont. I want to say thank you very much for all you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Treasurer Pierce. Uh, and next we will hear from uh, Kip Roberts, the owner and marketing manager here at Honey River Outdoors. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, bu buying local is like is like exercising. Uh, we all know we should do it. Uh, sometimes it just takes a little bit of a nudge and a little bit more uh, effort. And uh, we are, are so proud to be able to carry on the, the heritage um, and tradition that has been in this space um, for outdoor pursuits on Langley Street. And we couldn't have done it without the uh, community support. Um, back in the uh, in December and the early spring, I think there was a there was a big uh, gap in this town, and I think we all felt it. And with community support, um, we had uh, probably over not, uh, 85,000 in um, uh, local support, uh, people uh, uh, basically uh, investing in this business in the future. And through those small investments, uh, we were able to bring Onion River Outdoors uh, to fruition. And uh, people, this community is uh, super supportive of what we're trying to do here, which is uh, bringing the uh, outdoors, make it more accessible to kids, families, uh, everyone. And we do that through biking, skiing, running, uh, et cetera. And we're, we're so lucky to have uh, organizations like BBSR and Local First um, to help uh, promote spending money, spending dollars locally. Um, the community here has supported uh, Onion River, um, either Onion River Sports and Onion River Outdoors now um, for over 40 years and we couldn't have done it without the support of uh, so many locals. Um, and while Onion River Outdoors was uh, in its early stages of formulation, um, we, we did receive a lot of support. There's still people coming in every day uh, thanking us for providing uh, this outdoor community service and outdoor gathering spot. But it's not just a one-time um, silver bullet. This is definitely a daily uh, effort where uh, everyone needs to um, realize where their dollars are going. It's not just for the products on the walls, but it's also for the events, the clinics, uh, the group rides, um, and our reciprocal, reciprocal support of organizations like Central Vermont Runners, uh, Onion River Nordic Club, Green Mountain Club, and Catamount Trail, and so many others. Um, and through uh, continued uh, shopping locally when people make decisions to shop downtown um, on Langman Street and in our other great businesses in this town um, and not um, always go to online with the big box stores, uh, that, that money stays local to our community. We're able to uh, employ uh, locals, uh, kids in high school, etc. cetera, um, and that money stays right here. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone for attending. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kip. Um, and I just want to make some closing remarks. Um, so we've seen how effective the buy local movement is. You know, from uh, here in Montpelier to to Brattleboro to up in Burlington, we have thriving downtowns, local businesses, and um, people in the community who want to support these local businesses. I often also hear from from folks, like, what else can we do to support a local economy? And I wanted to note two opportunities that I see that Vermont has coming down the road. Uh, about 10 years ago, there was a report released called the Vermont Job Gap Study, the Leaky Bucket Report, that uh, detailed how much um, uh, money Vermont sends out of state for uh, food and energy. Uh, so it turns out Vermont spends about $2.6 billion a year on food. Now, 97% of our food in the state is imported. 
Uh, imagine what our economy could be like if we could even just bring about 10% of that food purchasing to our local economies. It would mean $260 million more in the Vermont economy. Uh, and after that report came out, the Vermont legislature passed the Farm to Plate Bill, and we've made real strides in building up our local food economy here in the state. Uh, additionally, Vermont spends $2.4 billion a year on fossil fuels. We have no coal mines here, uh, there are no oil fields here in Vermont, so nearly 90% of that money uh, goes right out of state, usually in the pockets of corporations that don't have uh, the same values as Vermonters. Um, so I believe through conservation, efficiency, and local renewable power, Vermont can seize control of its energy future the same way we've started making progress on our uh, local food economy. Um, so we all know we need to live our values as well as speak them. So efforts like the Local First Coupon Book and the Coupon App are effective ways to encourage local purchasing. And I'd like to encourage Vermonters to continue that ethic into other aspects of their life as well. Um, so thank you very much and we'd be pleased to take any questions. Um, uh, Stephen Mills, Chimes Argus. Could, Beth, could you just give me some examples of the 10% in Vermont? Sure. You know, um, Programs, okay. businesses, staff. So we've committed, uh, so 10% comes from the fact that uh, we take a look at our operating cash and we say what's our average cash per year and it's about uh, 330 to 350 million, so we say about 33 to 35 million dollars and we've committed a little over 30 million dollars to local investment. So we've done a number of different programs. Uh, we worked with uh, NeighborWorks to do an energy efficiency program mm -hmm. uh, across the state. Uh, we uh, also worked with NeighborWorks on, a, on another program, as I said, in the northwest neighborhood of uh, Rutland to do uh, community development and uh, neighborhood rehabilitation. Uh, we worked with VSAC, the Vermont Student Assistance Corporation. Uh, we bought into one of their bond issues and lowered the cost of financing. You know, I don't like loans, period, uh, for, uh, for college education or post-secondary education or um, of any kind. Uh, that said, lowering the rate, you know, if you can pay 4.8 instead of 6 or whatever it might be, uh, that's a good thing. So we lowered it to uh, that particular issue to the, um, to the lowest rate that the, in the history of VSAC. So we're very pleased with that. We worked with VHFA to do um, a series of multifamily retrofits when they were doing a bond issue. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, we invest with the Vermont Community Loan Fund in two areas. One is uh, in the area of assisting with... Uh, with uh, family daycare and child care facilities, and second is in, 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 in food and working, working Vermont. Uh, I was up at a parade years ago, uh, uh, and there was a float in front of me, and uh, this was in uh, a Stars and Stripes Parade up in Lindenville, and it was a daycare facility, and they were telling me how they got the, uh, the loan from, uh, from uh, the Vermont Community Loan Fund. And uh, I thought about that and said, we helped provide the capital to do that. And, uh, and those uh, young, young, rather active children on that float were, uh, were, were had benefited from that, and, uh, and I was, you know it's great to see that in action. Uh, so we've done a number of different projects. Uh, we're, we're continuing to look, as I said, we're doing a request for proposals right now to do more in the area of energy efficiency. This is something that the uh, the legislature asked us to do in the last session. Uh, that is out on our website right now, uh, and we would be looking for for folks to partner with us on that. So that's how, how can people connect with 10% in Vermont? Well, if you look on our website, you'll see, see, see materials on 10% in Vermont. Uh, we have what's called a local investment advisory committee, and uh, we look at various projects. We also try, we, there are a couple of principles involved, one of which is that we want to obviously invest locally, but the other is not replace uh, capital that would already be out there. So if, if Vermont VIA, the Vermont Economic Development Authority can do it, the Vermont Community Loan Fund can do it, some other folks, uh, VHFA, we want to we work with them and say, this project might fit your, your, your mission and your organization a little better than ours. What we're looking to do is fill a gap. Thank you. Thank you. And may I ask, Bobby, could you say a few words about you know, how your business, you know, um, depends on people shopping locally, and, and how, how, how has business been since you reopened, please? It, it's been really great. We're, we're having a great time with the store, um, just like Kip and Jen have experienced. Um, Almost every customer that has walked in the door since we reopened in May has thanked us for bringing the store back mm -hmm. and for 
you know, um, giving them a place to buy what they're looking for locally instead of having to drive out of town mm -hmm. or shop online. You okay. know, they are really interested in supporting the local economy and supporting their neighbors and friends. Um, when we were working for the former businesses here, we found ourselves out of work in December, mm -hmm. which was kind of a scary prospect. Mm -hmm. And um, so firsthand, I have a feeling of what it's like to be an employee, you know, who wants to be able to stay here in Vermont. And um, looking for a job here was kind of tough. Mm -hmm. So um, I kind of always knew that I wanted to reopen the store. And I um, was able to work locally with the bank, with um, Community National and get the financing together to reopen the store, and um, it's been really rewarding. It's been really great. It's a nice reciprocal relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, the town came out to support us in our efforts, mm -hmm. and um, they feel like we're giving them what they're looking for, so it's, it's just been a great experience all the way around. Thank you very much. Can I interrupt for just a second? I just looked it up here and I saw events. Kids Friendly Guided Hike. Okay, uh, uh, and uh, take a kid uh, mountain biking day. I'm, I'm not going to do it, but uh, <laughs> but I guess my point is that this is the kind of thing that happens when you invest locally. That you have an interaction with the community, and you have children and adults and people working together, um, and it's about the fabric of your community. And I think that that is just a terrific, uh, a terrific demonstration of why we need to do more locally. So thank you. Jen, do you have anything to say about being a, a partnership with you know, Kip and this business? It's kind of a family affair. Yeah, it is a family affair. That's true. We have a nine-year-old daughter, and she um, is occasionally up at the front running the register. So, um, yeah, she'll learn oh, her. She'll, <laughs> she'll learn her finance skills young. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the only thing I would I would add was just that you know I I kind of went on a little. Um, Ramble this morning as I was writing some notes for Kip about how, you know, supporting local is like eating healthy. It is like exercising. It's it, and it, as Bobby said, it's a reciprocal relationship. When you support local businesses, they thrive and then they give back to you in the form of events. Just the same way as when you feed your body well and you exercise, it gives back to you in energy and vitality. And I think. The other thing that really strikes me is that this is a decision you have to make every single day. Just like when you're choosing to eat a banana instead of chips and get up off the couch and not shop online and get out and get moving, this downtown relies on people making those decisions every single day because you know we've just gone through another round of, we just lost a whole bunch of restaurants downtown. Yeah. There's some storefronts that have been sitting open for a long time. So it's not, it's not like, I think, Kip said it's not a silver bullet. Like just just because Langdon Street is back doesn't mean yeah. Montpelier is going to make it. We all have to keep doing it every single day. We have to keep choosing to come in and shop local, and yeah. and hopefully then we will reap the benefits of this you know really vital yeah. downtown. Yeah. It takes the village, right? To exactly. The yeah. Community. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Any other questions? What, um, can I just ask, are you, are you doing this anywhere else in the state? Uh, this is the, uh, the a launch of the, uh, the book, which I think came out last week. Yep, it yep. came out on Saturday. Um, and we, in November, before Shop Small, um, Saturday, or I believe the Tuesday, before Thanksgiving, we're going to be in Brattleboro, um, having a similar event, um, preparing with the Downtown Brattleboro Association. Thank you. So, other coupons in the book, are they for? Said for Vermont, this area specifically? They're, they're available throughout the state. Okay. Um, Montpelier has a lot of coupons in the book, as well as Middlesex, Waitsfield, um, there's coupons available for Stowe, uh, there's Barry, Burlington, Brattleboro, Virgins, Ferrisburg. We're trying to service as much of the state as possible. Um, and we're expanding every year into new regions to let people know that in your town, in your community, where those local businesses are that you can support. And also know it's not just a book, it's also an app on your phone. Um, so if you don't want to carry around the book with you at all times, your phone can tell you when you can save money on a local business. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.